was listening to the radio earlier, it seems like we got a Castro running for our president. I know a lot of you guys, especially you younger folks, y'all don't remember Castro, uh, what they did to Cuba. They keep they kept them people very repressed. That's why they were in to risk their lives on buckets floating across 90 miles across to Florida to, to search freedom um, and, and get away from their tyranny. Um, I, I really hope y'all research and study history and let's not do to our country what those people did to their country and they didn't even have a vote. They didn't have a say in the matter. It was more of a dictatorship. They just, they took over and here we are, we're, we're gonna rule this country. Well, this Castro guy, he was part of the Obama administration, which really makes him even less in my eyes. Um, you know, you do what you want to, but Obama really was not a great president highest unemployment even though he was gonna make change yeah he made change from our pocket to his uh, taxes went up um, if you didn't have, have health care you got charged for that um, if you can't afford health care how in the hell are you gonna afford getting fined for not having health care um, you know I wish there was a simple answer to where we could kick back and say okay there's gonna be health health care equality for everybody everybody can have health care it doesn't work and I tell you why um, England uh, all the European countries and all that are, are prime examples they're having major issues just like we're having over here we don't such as that where most of your money goes to the government and then it's spread back out across the people what happens is the people that's supposed to be in charge of your money doing the right thing with your money tend to get sticky fingers. They stick that money in their pocket and then it doesn't get distributed back to where it belongs. Uh, yeah, I wish we lived in the, the daisy filled fantasy land that we're supposed to live in, but we don't. Politicians are crooks. They're, they're nasty, they're crooks, and even Donald Trump, he's making a killing by being president. No, he's not taking a salary. They told him he had to, but he's donating his, his salary, his monthly salary, because he's already filled it. He doesn't need the income, it's the backside income that he's making billions more on. Uh, so he doesn't need our money to do what he uh, needs to do, but to, to think that a Democrat is going to go up in there and distribute the wealth equally, they're going to have all these houses, and you know, we're going to get all these people off the street, and everybody's going to have health care, I hate to burst your bubble, it's not going to happen, it hasn't happened in the past, um, it's not going to happen in the future elected somebody named Castro. I'm against that 100 bat just because of his name. Change your name, buddy. Um, being part of the Obama administration, well, that didn't impress me none at all. That just really sucks. Have a, We've got a woman up there. Her first political speech was, well, I'm Native American. They did a one, two, three, and me honors. She was point zero 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 point one had so little Native American in her that it didn't exist. I mean, the, the DNA would have it be great, 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 great parents. So you can already see the consistency of the lies that you're going to be, and I'm just hoping that. As a voter myself, that you will educate yourself. Somebody that doesn't want socialism or our free country, that a lot, and I mean a lot, of men and women have to 
keep this a free society. So, and the nicest thing about a society is you can make as much money as you want to, or you can sit around and cry about it and make nothing. Like, I promise we'll do something different here shortly.